What up guys, JP back at you once again, bring you guys day number 30 in my 10th annual 31 Days of Horror, a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days, all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween. And continuing along with day number 30, uh, I just got back from our little Halloween get-together, and this was the film that I showed there. I was going to record a review with Carly, but it got really late, and she got really tired, so decided to just come home and do it myself. But um, the film that I am talking about is one I've actually been wanting to see for a while, and that is Silent Madness in 3D. So yeah, this is from the year 1984, and this is one of those movies that when they announced it, I was like, okay, I'm curious on this. It's a slasher from the 80s, and it's in 3D. So uh, it comes in multiple versions. It has the like cool 3D where you you know play it in your 3D player and on your 3D TV, which I don't have one of those. Uh, 3D TVs, I, well, 3D in general, I want to make a comeback so that 3D TVs can be cheap again. Uh, try to get a 3D TV nowadays. It's, like, insane. Because I actually like 3D even... Yeah, I even like the, the classic blue and red version. But I do enjoy 3D movies every once in a while. I think it's fun. I love the depth of field. And that's, that's kind of what I get out of it. I don't need stuff, like, popping out at me. It's more about, like, the depth of field that works for me. Anyway, um, it also has the Anna, Anna, Anaglyph 3D, which is, like, the red and green, or blue and green glasses, or blue and red glasses versions uh, that, you know, the old style 3D. And that's what we watched it on, because uh, why not? So this movie basically... Um, follows a group at a insane asylum uh, where there was a mistake. There's two patients named John Howard and Howard John, and they accidentally release the wrong patient due to like a glitch in the computer. And the patient that they release is actually a killer who returns to um, the place of his crime that was done earlier, um, I don't know, like 10 years earlier or something, which was a sorority house uh, where we get a flashback there and he uh, basically was like the janitor there and he pretty much snaps out and kills all the sorority sisters there and then he gets locked up. So we're following this um, doctor who is trying to track him down because she realizes the error. Meanwhile, there's like this cover up trying to go on between like the uh, hive members in the hospital and stuff like that and we have this escaped mental patient out there killing people so uh, it's basically that it's kind of like Halloween but not you know what I mean like uh, not as good um, and, and, and slightly different it's a female um, doctor who's hunting down the killer and this guy's not nearly as interesting as Michael Myers but that's the story so uh this movie actually has a few recognizable people in there. So there was two people from Sleepaway Camp um, in this film, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty simple slasher movie, but boy is it fun. There's just a little bit of downtime in between like the first couple kills and then like the climax of the movie where there's a bit, there's a lot of the subplot is dedicated to the, um, a lot of the screen time is dedicated to the subplot of the, like, you know, corruption and escaped patient and, like, covering that up and revealing it type thing. And, and honestly, it's not that interesting, but, uh, I actually like the killer, you know, kind of a simple but effective killer. Uh, some decent kills, actually, and, you know, some, fun cat and mouse stuff at the end. I actually really enjoyed this movie. I think it's definitely worth checking out. The 3D was, uh, you know, nothing crazy, but, um, like I said, I enjoy, like, the depth, um, when watching 3D and not necessarily stuff coming out at you. There is a, a scene where he throws an axe at the camera. Looks ridiculous, but it looks cool in 3D. Um, but yeah, so that is Silent Madness 3D. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 enjoyed it quite well um so anyway see you guys tomorrow with the final review of year number 10 until then peace out